Hello everyone. So before we begin, let me just set the agenda that we will be following for this entire demonstration. So in this video, I'll be covering the Royal Sensor product that we have, which comprises of three components. So the first one is the customer application, using which the customer would be placing all the orders. And then we have the driver's application, using which the drivers would be accepting and rejecting those orders. And thirdly is the admin panel, which is for the business owner to monitor everything. So let's just start with the customer application. So the Royal Essential application that you see on the screen, this is the customer app that we have for our out of the box solution. So I'll just click on this uh, application. And you know, this is the landing page that we have uh, for this application. So over here, you can see my current location being detected by the system. So this is actually enabled by the reverse geocoding feature that we have, which automatically picks the customer's location and saves it directly into the system. And below this location, you have different services which the admin is offering. So it can be grocery delivery, it can be food delivery, it can be on-demand ambulance booking, pharmacy, and even cab booking. So depending upon the customer's requirement, the customer can just select any of the available services and you know just book that particular service. So I'll just go with the grocery delivery for now. So once I click on grocery, I'll be redirected to the screen which has all the available grocery stores. On top of the screen, you have uh, my current location which is again uh, saved in the system. And then below this location, you have two options. One is for the delivery and the other, uh, the other one is for self pickup. So, you know, delivery is basically for those stores which are offering home delivery to the customers. And self pickup is basically for those who don't offer any kind of delivery and the customer will just have to reach out to the stores and pick up the parcel. So I'll just go with the delivery for now. And then below you have different banners to make this application look more appealing. You know, the customer can just click on any of these banners and he will be redirected to you know, that particular uh, store. So basically this is actually you know, an extra source of revenue for the admin since uh, you know, there is a higher tendency that the customer would place an order by clicking on these banners. And this particular grocery store would have you know, more number of transactions and subsequently the admin can charge a higher commission. So this is the marketing tool that we have uh, enabled in the system. And then you have different stores uh, which are serving in my vicinity. So below that, you know, you have popular stores, uh, which again can be configured from the admin panel. And then, uh, you know, at the bottom, you have different special offers, uh, which are on the system. So I'll just click on any of the available grocery store to place an order. So I'll just click on nature's basket. And once I do that, uh, I'll be able to see the complete catalog of uh, products you know that particular grocery store is offering. So over here you have you know crockery sets, you have PVC table mats, you have washing bowls, frame, cutlery sets. And in case the customer wants to have a better understanding of the entire menu, the customer can just click on this menu button and he will be able to see everything in detail. So I'll just add one of the products uh, in the cart, and once I do that, I'll just click on view cart and I'll be redirected to the checkout screen. So over here, you know, the customer would have to enter the delivery location. So I'll just click on change and I'll just add any of the saved addresses. And, you know, below the address option, the customer can just monitor uh, the cart once again, that yes, this is the product that he, had, or that he has, uh, you know, ordered. And then below that, uh, we provide this option to the customer to apply any kind of promo codes so uh, let's assume you know you as an admin you, you are running any kind of uh, promotion for your customers so you can just share this promo code with all your customers via email or via sms and the customer can redeem those promo codes uh, to get a discount and then below the promotions you have price details and then the customer will have to select the payment method so over here we have the cash on delivery payment method as of now but in case you want online payments, then we can definitely uh, get it done via the payment gateway integration using which all the online transactions can be easily done. So I'll just select a cash on delivery for now. And once I do that, I can click on order now. So as you can see, the order has been placed successfully. And you know, over here, you also see the, the, the pop-up notification for the drivers that yes, there is a new order request. So, I have already downloaded the driver application on my phone and I have already logged in as a driver so that's why I'm receiving this pop-up notification. 
and you know once the order is placed the, the customer can see the order details and now i'll just go to the driver application so this is the driver application that we have and you know uh, this is how the ui looks like for this particular driver application so coming back to the customer application um once the order got placed you can see the status that yes uh, it has been placed at this uh, at this given time and now the order needs to be confirmed uh, by the admin uh, so that you know the, the merchant can actually process that particular order so we do provide this option you know to both admin and merchant to you know just uh, accept or reject that particular order so i'll just go to the admin panel now so this is the panel that we have for the admins uh, and for the and for the merchants so just a second yes yes so under the order section uh, you can see that you know the order is right now under the pending bucket and it has not been confirmed and you know the admin or the merchant can see the complete details regarding that particular order so i'll just click on view details and you know the admin would be able to monitor everything from here uh, so once the admin has monitored uh, the entire details regarding that particular order we can just confirm it and add the preparation time as well so once it's done going back the order will jump from the pending bucket into the active bucket so this is the you know uh, the order that was uh, that we had placed and right now you know we will have to assign a driver for this uh, particular order so we actually have uh, you know two options using which the driver assignment is done so basically the first option is automatic in which once the customer places the order the nearest driver would receive the notification for that order and if he accepts that order you know he will be assigned that job and if he doesn't accepts that order uh, you know the algorithm will repeat itself and the second nearest available driver would receive that notification so, so this is the first option that we have and secondly we provide this option to the to the admin to just assign the order manually to any of the driver so both these options are there in a out of the box solution so in this case the you know, the admin will just assign the delivery boy manually so i'll just select chris so over here you know you can see that yes a, a new order has been assigned to the driver so i'll just go to the driver application and the order would pop up over here that yes uh, you know the order got assigned to the uh, driver at this current time and it has been accepted by the driver so now you know uh, i'll just go to the customer application to see what's the status over there and you can see that yes it got confirmed at this given time so that's how you know the status changes takes place and now going back to the admin panel uh, we can just you know uh, change the status further so you know uh, the admin can just you know change the status from in confirm to in store and then automatically uh, the driver would also receive this kind of notification and then again you know once the order is ready to be picked up uh, the admin can just change the status over here and the driver would again receive this notification that yes the order is ready to be picked up so you know, this is the order and you can see the status has been changed to ready to be picked up and now in this case you know the driver wants to have some more details regarding this order he can just click on view more details and you know he can just see uh, the pickup location and the delivery location what's the total cost and in case he wants to call the customer we do provide that option as well and in case he wants to just navigate his way through google maps we provide the option for uh, directions in the application itself so uh, going back to the admin panel uh, once you know the, the the order got uh, picked up by the driver the admin can just change the status to on the way and the customer would also receive this notification that yes your order is on the way so going back to the customer application now so under this particular uh, we this is the order that we had just placed and you can see that yes the status has been changed to on the way and in case uh, the the customer wants to track that order we can do that as well so over here the customer can see the details regarding the agent and we have the option for tracking the order so the customer can just click on this option and do the real time tracking of the driver so that's how the tracking works and now going back to the driver application 
uh, you know you can see the status has been changed to on the way and the driver can just click on view more details and now you know you can see that there is a new feature which has been introduced on this application which is basically for the chatting between the driver and the customer so in case uh, you know driver wants to know some information from the customer or he wants to know the direction or there's some kind of confusion the driver can have a you know direct conversation with the customer and start a chat over here and once the order is delivered the, uh, the driver can just you know click on this option and mark this job as delivered so you know that's how the complete transaction looks like from the customer point of view and from the trans uh, from the driver point of view so i'll just go back to the customer application and you can see that under the completed orders this particular product it got delivered and now the customer has the option to rate that order as well so you can just click on this rate order button and provide the ratings and reviews so i'll just provide that and submit it so that's how you know the complete transaction looks like thank you